Well, we're backstage here at the Seattle Repertory Theater with the legendary Carrie Fisher, or do I call you Miss Fisher, or what's oh the appropriate God. way to address royalty? Carrie, royalty. <laughs> Carrie, I think is good. Carrie Fisher is uh, here in Seattle through May 3rd, doing her one-woman show at the Seattle Rep called Wishful Drinking, yep. which is a live adaptation of a, a tell-all book you wrote. Actually, the show came first, and then... The uh, memoir is uh, came out of the show, and, and then I added about, it would have been about 60 or 70 pages if it was just from the show, but there were too many things that were visual. We have audience participation in the show, so, you know, obviously it had to be adapted and changed for book form. Now, you, you reveal some, some pretty intimate details about your life, about addiction, about bipolar disorder, it, what, is it cathartic or is it painful to go through this? Oh, well, I would not do it if it was painful. I like to avoid pain <laughs> as much as possible. I know that's unusual. Uh, no, actually, there's a saying that I heard once, is, which is, you're only as sick as your secrets. So given that, I'm very well. At that time you were playing Princess Leia, w w were you messed up at that point? Um, not on the first one... Well, maybe a little, a couple of times I, I know, I know I got drunk at George Lucas's birthday party on the first one, but I wasn't. I mean, I was nineteen at that point, so I hadn't really, I wasn't really. Um, but on the uh, the second one, and um, some of the third one, a little bit. You know, I could. Yeah, and so, so that is the question. I, I, you know, you look at your you resume here. When you're working, but yeah, you how know, do you how do you the, juggle it? Well, badly, actually, ultimately. Uh -huh. But that was really in the beginning. And so, you know, I, I didn't really do, you, you know, I didn't make myself altered during the work. I, at that time, I was able to keep it more separate. But as I, I went along, um, there were times when I did not. And so that <laughs> did not bode well. Are there chunks of your life that are a big haze? Mm, not chunks, and I, and I don't know how much of it is just regular old se uh, senior momentville, <laughs> or what. But certainly, when you first do uh, electroshock treatment or electroconvulsive treatment, um, you lose four months. But you know, oh no, the swap is worth it. You're trading in depression for four months of memory. Now, what could happen at my age in four months that couldn't happen in another four? You know, it was worth it. But it was disconcerting. I mean, you remember your whole life, but it's these four months where you're doing the treatment. You do it three times a week for three weeks. And so if you meet someone during that time period, you will not remember them. So I was getting emails from this one guy saying, I really enjoyed our dinners. And... <laughs> And our talks, and I had no idea. So that's not even from the addictions. That's from the oh, that's easy. the therapy, yeah. the treatments. No, I, I, well, I don't know how much of my brain I burnt on addiction, yeah. but I would imagine a fair amount. But um, no, that is not from that. You uh, you say in your book that you uh, and and in your show, I believe the expression that you're the daughter of Hollywood inbreeding. If you could have it differently, would you prefer to have not been born to? Hollywood legends? No, there's no real answer, way to answer that question. I mean, every family is a secret language, right? So I don't know that. I mean, when you have Hollywood legends as parents, what you see about it is the ordinary aspects of it. You called the embassy? The embassy was your, your house? Yeah, and that was absurd. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you call it, it the embassy? It was a gigantic, very modern, very cold house. It was all marble. And all the couches had very puffed up pillows, so you didn't want to mess it up. And there was plastic on the corners of the carpet. So there was really only a few rooms where you felt, you know, you could actually mess it up a little bit. So that was, it was a ridiculous place. All right, we're hanging out here with uh, Carrie Fisher. Uh, some, some routine, more obvious questions. Where is the golden bikini? I have it hidden somewhere in the theater. No, I, I assume George has it. You know, it's not like I said. That's not in your possession. Can you imagine? Why would I have it, though? A, 
I've gained about three million pounds, so I really wouldn't want to put it on. It would I'd shoot myself with a laser gun. <laughs> and um, uh, I do have one of the dolls, the doll that's the sort of... <laughs> I saw it when I was at one of those comic book conventions, which, like I say in the show, yeah, I go to when I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. And we found this doll that was in the metal bikini that was on a turnstile. And when it got to a certain place on the turnstile, you could actually see up my dress to my anatomically th correct, <laughs> though shaved, <laughs> galaxy s***. That's the way we would have imagined you, I think. Uh, you know, and when I did. saw it, I called George and said, you know... Because George actually owns my likeness, which means every time I look in the mirror, I have to send him a couple of bucks. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, he then, uh, he, he sent me, as to compensate, actually the Star Wars Christmas special, which is one of the most heinous things you've ever seen in your life, hilariously bad. A, tel a television show? It came out right when the movie came out, and I guess this was when they certainly didn't anticipate the film would be this big of a deal, so they had a pre-existing deal for us to do this television show. It is appalling, and not necessarily funny appalling, but bits of it are funny appalling, so he gave me that. And you're involved in the, you, oh, in the yeah. Christmas special. I sing some... And it's all about the Wookiee Life Day or something. Oh, it is no. just vomitous. Then he also sent me a, a special order of the doll with the galaxy s***. <laughs> and on this one, you can take the top off uh -huh. and, oh, and see my... Um, uh, you know, your business, all your yeah, business. Yeah, from, all the business from, is available. From <laughs> top to bottom. Um, by the way, the, uh, the, Comic -Con, the comic book convention was uh, this weekend in Seattle. Oh, was so, it? so I bet you if you'd have been walking the streets, you would have blown some, some youngster's mind. I'm glad you finished that sentence. <laughs> um, 